Hi and welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner. Today I'm going to show you how to make a homemade waffle recipe. It took me a long time to perfect the waffles, the, the correct ingredients, because I don't buy, pers I didn't, you can buy waffles that you slap in the toaster and cook, but they're too expensive. Okay, so, and I do have several <coughs> waffle irons, this is just one. I could set out probably seven waffle irons and compete against any place making <coughs> waffles faster because I've got so many of them all over the kitchen. Over the years I bought different waffles just because they were waffle irons because they were cute. Okay, now, so, I'm going to show you the waffle iron I perfected. So, let's talk ingredients. We're going buttermilk, buttermilk complete waffle and pancake mix. I'm going to take chocolate chip muffin mix and turn that into a waffle. And I'm going to take blueberry muffin mix and turn that into the waffle as well. Okay, we also need vegetable oil for the ingredients. Keep going. And um, butter spray for your waffle. Now, as over the times I used to use that, and I found out that was one of my problems because it was making so much yet lard. But I found out with this butter mix, it doesn't explode if it's hot like I used to think. So I just spray the waffle iron, and then I'll put the ingredients in there. Oh, for tools, you need a ladle. You need a tablespoon and you need a dilly, you need a, pay, a measuring cup of a tablespoon, you have to have exact measurements with waffles and a pair of scissors. Okay, so I'm creating a blue and black waffle and the waffle iron is preheated now but the mix isn't ready yet, okay. I'm going to cut some blueberries, put the blueberry muffin in there. Oh, you can shrink this recipe for how many people you want to make or enlarge it for how many people you want to eat. Now realize it takes a lot of batter to make waffles. So, we are about to start. Okay, I've got six packages, so I figured it out two tablespoons of vegetable oil definitely in the mix to prevent sticking two tablespoons per package so with three packages that's going to take six tablespoons through two four five six and you need to measure it exactly okay so for for each package you need three quarters of a cup of water so I've got three quarters of a cup here what <clears throat> twice three times. Now if you prefer to use bottled water or use whatever water you can, understand my house, the water system is filtered, just like my refrigerator ice maker is filtered. Now, so we've got three quarters of a cup of water three times in the mix. And then we're going to take the wire whisk and we're going to mix it. Mix it well. Now, before when I did this, I had a pro lots of problems with perfecting this recipe. Thank you. The drip tray wasn't put back here. It should have been. Okay, mix it well with your wire whisk. <coughs> Alright. Now, take your li you're going to take, and you've seen me spray this, and I preheated this. Okay? Take your ladle, like this. Pick it up. Go to the middle of your waffle maker, put it in there, and then put a second one in there. But put it right in the middle, then close it down. Okay, now 
when you're going to remove the waffle, which I did not prepare for, um, we, you need a fork and a table knife. Okay, you need to have these two in instruments to remove it. Okay. Now, I'm going to put this away. I'm done with this because I've got the mix made. Pulling out the maple syrup for those who want it. Putting these into the recycling and putting this up in the sink. Putting this away. Okay, now when that when your waffles are cooking, let's put this away for because we did two kind of two recipes at the same time today. Okay, when um after your waffles are done cooking, after you hear it beeping, on uh, my waffle maker it's different, okay? But then we also have the option on this wa this waffle maker when the waffles are ready, this light turns green. And it beeps, but if it doesn't beep, this still turns green. So, also, you want to, after it's beeped, wait a couple of seconds for, for the waffle to settle down and then remove them. I found that to be true and everything, but you leave. I've got, put your waffle iron on your setting. Now, this waffle has settings, so I find it works best at two and a half. I tried two, they were underdone, and they were sticking there. I found three, they were old, overdone and started to burn, so I found two and a half to be the perfect setting for this waffle maker. <coughs> See? It beeped. See the ready light is on? You see? Okay, I I waited a second or two for after the beep to be done. I lifted it up and see? Perfect waffle. And I've got chocolate chips in there blueberry chips in there and standard buttermilk waffle mix in there. Now carefully lift your waffle out and put it just like that. Isn't that beautiful? See, it'll, it'll come out every time. Now for your next, I'm serving so many people so I'm immediately going to make another one. I'm spraying my waffle top and bottom, a quick spray, and to show you a second time, putting it right in the middle. This is after my many trials and failures trying to perfect waffles for viewer requests to enjoy, I've done it. Okay, now let's do a taste test. I know it's good because I worked on perfecting the recipe, but I'm going to show you that. Okay, you could eat it with or without, but I always prefer mine with maple syrup. And I'll leave that spot there, over there, untouched, so I'm just going to cut a piece so you can see my sun taste tested as well to show that this is absolutely delicious. Mmm, 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 mmm. Perfect blueberry chocolate chip waffles. Delicious. And I'm gonna let my son have a taste test. Mine! Mine! <laughs> Come on, do a taste test, son. I think he's yeah. tasting the whole thing. <laughs> blue waffles I guess you could call them <laughs> chocolate and blueberry waffles yeah the waffles so uh, we're, we're so mean we beat the waffles black and blue yeah I think he likes it cuz he's not even giving his opinion 
like I'm supposed to be taste testing. It's not just straight up eating it. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Well, well. Yeah, kind of obvious. Yeah, kind of obvious. So, so next waffle will be for him anyway, so. Oh yeah, it's good. David, you're laying on the slow cooker that's going. Yeah, yeah I know, sorry. I forgot. <laughs> Yeah, next one's done, and as you start, it's good, so, you know. Thank you for watching, and as always, the fun never ends in the world of SMART. Happy New Year again, everybody, on this first Friday of 2015. Love and kisses from my family to yours. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to share any of my videos you like. Hugs and kisses. Love all of you. And the fun never ends in the world of SMART. Bye, everybody.